Hi everyone, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. I'm here today with a VR for Sabrina K, Country Crafter. She's having a 1,000 subscriber um, challenge. So um, she has multiple ways that you can rack up some points. And for one point, you can subscribe. Go to the link below that I will put for her um, her challenge giveaway video and if you like and comment on that video you get one point you, when you get a v, do a VR you get a point if, for every friend you refer you get a point if you send a card that she can reuse you get a point and if you make an, a memory dex card you get a point so for five points you can make a pocket letter you can send happy mail um, anything shabby and or a loaded and or a loaded envelope um the prizes she's having three of them it's a 50 dollars gift card and a 25 dollars gift card to hobby lobby and michaels and then the third place is a gift card 10 dollars gift card to the dollar store dollar tree and um the drawing is going to be held august 5th so that's a lot of information better to go to her channel and get it all down. Listen to her and um, make sure you get all of it. Don't rely on me. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I made for her. I started with a um, paper clip. Um, I got this white piece of paper. So, well that's not going to work. Um, it is one of these, okay, so cute with the multicolored stars in there. It's a dress it up unicorn mini bubbles. I got these at Tuesday morning a long time ago. Well, long time ago. I would say um, more than two months ago. It, it's been a while. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of bought them out of the mini ones. They had large ones too. I haven't seen them there in a long time. So, um, anyway, I, I think that, um, Lolly Palooza, she has an Etsy shop and I think she sells them there. So, um, the other thing I put on there are, <laughs> listen to me, <laughs> see if I get it right. These, um, Swarovski crystals. Okay, so I bought these at Michael's and it is a bulk value pack. Um, gosh, I mean, my son, I think, was in the sixth grade and he just turned 25 today. So, um, well, yesterday, by the time, well, it's yesterday already. So, um, I just thought it was super cute to have the rainbow color go down there along with the rainbow stars. So super cute. And I just really liked this image. And it was a tag from the, where is it? Hold on, I got, I have so much stuff up here, it's crazy. Um, it's from the Bow Bunny um, Noteworthy, they're ephemera. Okay, so yeah, this has been around in my stash for a while. Um, it did have a, um, like a tag topper. It was a tag and I cut it off. I'll say it right. It's late. And then I made her an envelope out of, I guess, no, a folder out of um, vellum. And I used my Martha Stewart punch. A border punch it looks like this. I don't know if it has a name anywhere on it. It probably did on the packaging, but I didn't keep the packaging. Um, and I just glued that down with the fabric tack. Um, I did make Sabrina a card, but I it's it's for her, it's not 
for her to reuse and send to someone else. So I won't get any points for this. Um, again, with the, the whole thing is with the Bow Bunny Butterfly Kisses. I used my um, Nubo Drop Crystal Drops, uh, Wink Castella, and Glossy Accents on the centers. There is a little bit of mounting tape under here. It's very thin. And the message inside is for her. So, um, just so I can, because I've got a lot of things up here. <laughs> I will just tuck that back in there. Uh, I made her a pink um, perfume bottle. It's a Brother Scan and Cut file. And I've made these before, but I made them in clear um, acetate and really thick acetate made them shakers but uh i'm gonna put this on the white paper so it focuses on that so uh pink paper and i did this one with fun foam in between the layers um it's the butterfly kisses again and then that little brad looks like a little raspberry i love my little raspberries and it came from this um bow bunny brads and It's the Secret Gardens. So, um, it's really cute. Actually, both brads I used are from here. The Secret Gardens. So, I did another one in blue. I put some ribbons on that match the colors. And then that's a cute little birdie. I did, um, trim off the brad prongs and um, used my E6000 to glue them down. I made her memory decks. So pretty, I love it. Um, these are these Robin's Eggs Dew Drops. I'm loving those and I use my glossy accents to um, glue those down. Um, it, these are my accordion roses. They turned out really cute. Some glue right there. I use my fabric tuck to, um, I'll take care of that. Well, I'll take care of that afterwards. Um, to glue those down. And then this is a die. Um, I live here in Seti, Southern California, and Scrapbooking Made Simple, Stacy over at Scrapbook Made Simple is doing the um, shop that did not hop sale, and I went the second day. It, it, it opened up on like a Friday, and I thought it, it started on Saturday, but anyway, we went up Saturday, and I got this die by Ultimate Crafts, um, regularly $13.99. I got it on sale for $3.99. Um, it looks kind of weird, but what it does is it has a score line right here, and then that folds it closed. And I just took and drew a circle using this, and then I took, um, that and I traced around it for the white part and then this brad came from the Bow Bunny um that's better butterfly kisses brads so it was down here okay we're gonna get those out of the way because too much stuff up here so, I put a little note here that says open because you can open it up and it doesn't pop up, I'm sorry, but I, I was thinking compact, so I put the mirror paper here for the mirror, but then I also saw Cameo, so um, I have this once upon a time when I first started the paper crafting, I went to Joann's and I was buying those um, 
card making magazines and focus on one of them they had these girls and it's a whole pattern and what I did was I um, I scanned those into my brother's scanning kit and then I could cut them out and I had this one already cut out so I thought oh I can use her to make a cameo and I just gave her a bun and some a, a bow and I gave her some bangs and I drew her in some eyelashes and some lips and I put some stickles for a necklace and a rhinestone for um, an earring and I think she turned out really cute and we'll just omit the glare by closing it up it's not a pop up pop up so my information's on the back and I just thought to change things up a little so that's the memory decks and that's for Sabrina Sabrina, I really love watching you and your your daughter on your channel, and um, you're always so kind and so entertaining, and I really hope you get to the thousand subscribers, so that's that. And then, in her video, they added in the loaded envelope because they, she said that's Katie's idea, so Katie this is for you girl um oh i forgot something hold on okay i'm back so um what i did was i created um a an envelope and i used my gold leaf trim that i got from um, oops there goes my die from Beatty's Crafts. I have whittled this down to almost nothing. Oh, I'm starting to hoard. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get through it. Um, and this one I did use the Little Birdie Fairy Sparkle. It's, oops, backwards. It's beautiful. I love every part of this. And oh my gosh. Okay, so like those are fussy cut pages, right? But I have tons of fun fussy cutting the flowers and these butterflies <laughs> and anything else I can find. Okay, so my hoard package is already starting to come apart. Um, I did buy some of their... Uh, it, it's like a natural paper. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. There we go. And so they're handmade flowers. They're really pretty. So, um, there's one right there. And my gold trim. And I made you a couple little things. I'll pull those out. These are little these are little food picks from Daiso. But aren't they cute? And I think they would make well I've used them before to put them on mail and stuff. So they're really cute as embellishments. And that's what I bought them for. And then I made you a little shaker bow. So there's that. Um Where'd it go? Oh. I made you a little... I got so much stuff up there I can't find it. I made you just a little tiny banner. And I used an ephemera piece from the, um, the paper kit. And I fussy cut um, a butterfly. Um, did I fussy cut these butterflies? I think I did. Yes, I did. You can tell because the edges are sharp. And this is a sticker from, I think, Chamille. Um, and it says adore. And I do. I just adore this little banner. And I gave it a little hanger so you could hang it somewhere. And 
I am into a little shaker. Got the little fairy in there. There's the shake. I got too much in there, so it, it does shake very nicely. But um, it says shine. Focus. It says shine bright. And then these are um, my accordion bows, or bows, roses. And I just took my um, Tim Holtz Ranger um, alcohol inks. They're pearl. And I used the pink and the purple. There's a green in there, I think. Um, I don't know when I'm going to use the green. But anyway, um, I just put the white roses in a Ziploc bag and I added drops of pink and purple until pretty much all the white was gone and I used my ease um Fabitac to glue that down same with this and then I put a piece of the butterfly paper on the back because it matches that so this one's from the 12 by 12 pad see the butterflies are bigger and those ones are smaller and um this is an ephemera from the pack and these butterflies I fussy cut out as well as these flowers and then these are the come on, those are the nouveau drops so I fussy cut that butterfly out too and I gave them little butterfly trails with the nouveau drops and that's a brad from Bow Bunny which means that you can open it. So this is from the um, cut apart or fussy cut page and I did not do a great job fussy cutting that. I think I did better than I did Mary Jane's but I don't know. Scallops are hard. Um, leaves and things I don't seem to have a problem with but scallops give me trouble. So I fussy cut some to go across the back and then I created a long skinny rectangle. You can see it down there in the white. And that's my pop-up. And this leaf is starting to fall off. Um, and I've been propped these flowers up on that to conceal it and put the, the scallop there. And this is my message to you, Katie, and um, I'll keep that for you. Okay, and so that is my VR. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I did bring up, but ha was going to flip through the Bow Bunny Butterfly Kisses really quick. It's already repeating. So, um, that's everything that I used and that's everything that I made. I hope you ladies enjoy this and that you like what I made for you and I wish you much luck in your um, channel. I think it's great and wonderful and congratulations on getting to 1000. You're there by now, I'm sure of it. And if you're not, you will be soon. And um, so I hope that you guys will go to um, Sabrina and Katie's channel. I will link it below again and send them your crafty love. And I hope that you enter their challenge. Uh, it's getting close to August 5th, but there's still time to make a card and send it in or make a memory decks and send it in or just do a VR. Okay, so um, this is getting long, so I will um, say um one more time. Yes, it drives me crazy to hear myself say it. I will, uh, um, now I flustered myself. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I will end for now. Um, I want to thank all of you for supporting my channel and sharing your crafty love with me and um we are at 500 subscribers um we're above 500 subscribers and i said that i was going to do a challenge giveaway when i got to 500 but some of you already know my daughter had um jaw surgery 
she was born with cleft lip, cleft lip and cleft palate. So this is the biggest and most final surgery. She will have one more, um, maybe in a year or two, but it won't be so bad. Um, and so, um, she just had that yesterday and I'm pretty much doing around the clock, um, care on her because, um, her jaw is wired shut for the next four weeks. <laughs> Poor child. She's 21. Almost. Well, she's going to celebrate her birthday here on the 4th and it's just, yeah. She's going to be wired shut. <laughs> oh, poor baby. But um, she's slowly getting better, and she will continue to slowly get better. And I want to thank all of you for your prayers um, and your well wishes. Um, and please don't send anything for her. Um, I have my reasons, but just please don't send anything for her. I know you guys are just loving and caring and wonderful, and I know that's the first thing you're going to want to do is hear something like this and go, oh, I gotta send a card, but just please don't. Um, I love her dearly, but it, I have my reasons, so anyway, um, I, what I wanted to say was thank you, and I am going to have, when she's recovered, I will have something that we can do, and, um, I, I do have a challenge worked out and we'll just take care of it maybe more in in a month or so okay so I am rambling I'm gonna say good night and I hope that you have a good and crafty day and um, God bless you and yours bye for now I'll see you in my next video